figured today we would officially introduce you to our golden garter snakes because they haven't really had an official oh that's just a telephone okay they haven't had an official introduction on the channel but these are a really special guy oh come here oh my gosh oh they had babies Before we begin, we are very excited to announce that our warehouse is now fully stocked with reptile supplies so you can get all of your reptile care needs at snakediscoverystore.com. We carry substrate, gecko diet, more gecko diet, oh no I'm not ready yet, basking bulbs, UVB bulbs, multivitamin, calcium powders, decor, heat mats, heat panels, thermostats, and so much more. Plus we have tons of snake discovery oh. merch. We have some of the best online prices around and you get free shipping for orders over $100. All orders are packed up right here at the Snake Discovery Warehouse by our dedicated staff. Jerry, are you slacking off again? What is it with you and mukbang videos recently? Get back to work. Jerry, you can't eat the products. Jerry, stop it. Your support helps us rescue reptiles through our Adoption Island program, just like these two here, all while you get what you need for your reptiles at home. Just go to snakediscoverystore.com to get what you need today. Ed, come over here. Yeah, I'm here. Oh my gosh, how did you get Hi. there? Here. You said baby earlier, so I came over. Oh, uh, here, can you hold that? Yes. Thank you, okay. Um, are there more in here then? Oh my gosh. Okay, so first first things first, since um, you might not know how excited the, how exciting this is. This is a golden garter snake. Well, it's a golden colored garter. This is a wild caught originally garter snake that was given to us by someone who found it in the wild. And this is like a one of a kind snake. Like that's, a um, it's a morph. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. And what's even crazier is we have two of them. That somebody found, ironically, her name is also Emily, uh, found this pair of garter snakes in the wild and was like, these don't look normal. This is a genetic morph. They can't camouflage very well, so to help save them from getting eaten by a predator, she gave them to us and we put them together in hopes that they would breed. And if they did, it, we would, uh, you know, hope that it's a genetic morph. And, and it apparently is. They had babies. And really, the first crazy thing is, well, first she found this wild mutation in in nature, but also that she found a pair of them was just bonkers, and now they've bred for us. Okay, uh, here, take this one. Okay. That's, uh, are you mom or dad? Short tail, that's mom. Okay, good job, mama. Did she get, can you feel to see if she got uh, them all out? It's hard to I don't see any out. lumps. I didn't know she was gravid, first off. Okay, and then dad, hi, can you come here? We were gonna clean their cage today, so this is going to encourage us to take everything apart. Here's dad. Yeah, oh yeah, he's got a long tail. Here's dad. Now this pair is, again, as far as we're aware, the only ones of their kind. They were found in around the same area, and they are, I mean, there's no official morph name to them other than what people have called golden garter in other species, but the only golden garters I know of are common garter snakes, which are more slender built, and these are plains garter snakes. They're a bit thicker. They have, like, no neck. And as far as I'm aware, these are the only two golden plains garter snakes, or Themnophis radix, in existence. Well, not anymore, if they gave birth. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is crazy. Well, now we have to find more. Yeah, now we have to see. Are there more in here? Okay, this now, like, there's a lot of excitement here, guys. I don't know if you can tell how excited I am, but uh, are there more babies in here? Sure. Let's, let's put mom and dad away. Okay, okay, yeah, let's find a place for this baby. Yes, okay, parents are up there, baby is down there. We're gonna see, did she just have one baby? That'd be kind of fun. Oh my gosh, I see another one. It's back there, it's like behind that green thing. Come here, little baby. Oh my gosh, it's another golden garter snake. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Here, you go in there. Are there any more? There's, a, oh, there's another one back there. There's another, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, and another one right over there. Gosh, they're everywhere. Come here. How many babies did she have? Okay, we've got three, and they're all goldens too. So that must mean it's a proven recessive trait. Proven recessive. Oh, well, oh my could gosh. Could be dominant, we don't know. Maybe it's dominant, that's true. <laughs> okay, so those were the only two in existence on planet Earth. Uh, that we know of. That we know of, but now there's more. There's one back here. Come here, little baby. Whoa, you're a big baby garter snake too. Whoa, look at you. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like momentous in the reptile world. Wow, okay. 
There you go, you go in there. Oh, that's right, and we have this dude too. <laughs> I kind of forgot you were in here. We have just a common garter snake. So this is the other species of garter that's like native to the Midwest. The common garter snake, as you can see, is a lot more slender of a build. And he's in here because he's small enough to be able to escape the zoo exhibit. Not that we learned that the hard way or anything, but he's in here to grow up until he's big enough to graduate into the zoo. So I was kind of half worried that if they were gonna breed, he was gonna be the dad. But obviously those two goldens are the parents if they have golden babies. Have baby on the loose. Oh no! Okay. You? Can you? Uh, here, I'll take. Yeah, come here. All right, you take, you take this guy. Cause yeah, if they were hybrid babies, they would look more slender than they are. I know it's hard to explain, but yeah, those are planes. Those are radix. Okay, any others? Oh, here's another one. So far? Yeah, four so far. Now there's five. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, when were these born? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're gonna have to tear apart every inch of this enclosure. Yeah, it's not gonna be fun. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Do you think they're like hiding in the dirt? I mean, probably. You think? Oh, oh my gosh, I saw a tail. No, you guys are down. Ah, oh, come back, come back. Oh, extracting of a baby garter from the dirt. Really? You guys are hiding in the dirt too? Oh my goodness, there's another. All right, well that confirms I have to go through all of the dirt. Yep. There's more down here. Come back. No, no, don't escape. Oh, there's another one at least. There were two hiding in the, in the dirt. Oh, really? Yeah, here, take this. Come here. Come on, where'd you go? I know you're in here. I saw your tail. Oh, man, you're digging way down. That's cheating. No, 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 come here, come here, come here. Wow, you're a big baby too. Whoa, okay, got another one. Here you go. Here's a slug. Yep. So this is where she gave is birth. There another one back there. Oh yeah, I think you're right, right back there. So she gave birth under the cork that was right here. That's cool. I'm glad you found that as like a safe spot. But now the isopods can eat it. Yep. Okay, I have gone through the dirt several times. I think we've found them all. There were more than I was expecting. There was one that we just found shaking out that stick. Yeah, I swore I looked through this thing multiple times and very thoroughly, but sure enough, when it shook it, another baby fell out. So, I don't think there are any more. ice pods that fell out. There's another couple ice pods that fell out. It's that's, apparently full of ice pods. That's all I was trying to do is get ice pods out of it. Yeah, and then out came a baby garter snake. Yeah. Yeah, I think all the babies are out though. All right, let's see how many babies we have. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this just happened, guys. So in the back of my mind this whole time, having these babies, or these garters, which we've had for a little over a year now, I think. Maybe two years, I don't even know. I thought maybe if they bred, it's just gonna be a bunch of normal looking garters. It'll just be weird that the adults look funny, but they made the same morph. Look at this. Okay, I think we have them all. I'm, I'm confident we have them yeah. all from the enclosure. Yep. Wow, there's two really bright ones. Wow. Look at that one, and then look at, where do you go? That one? Was that one? Yeah, that one's brighter oh, in person. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at this. That's gorgeous. Ignore my dirt-filled hands, by the way. I just yeah. dug through a bunch of substrate to get these I love guys. how they start so bright and they end so dark. Yeah, look at that fade. That's really cool. And this babe, oh my gosh. This is the prettiest one. I oh think. yeah, I think that was the one I pointed out first. Wow, on my really dirty hand. That's really gross. Yeah. But look at that. Wow, that is stunning. Oh my gosh, they are just as pretty as I would ever have hoped. This new unnamed morph of garter snake. I mean, it's called the golden morph in common garter snakes, but these are the first uh, plains garter snakes with this, this morph. So I think we get to name this, don't we? Uh, yep. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? Uh, I don't think we should name this. We should reach out to the person who found the adults and let her name this morph and reach out and tell her that they bred and they made more of the same morph. Like it's proven out as a genetic morph, genetic mutation. Uh, so it's hereditary. I think she deserves to name it. Yeah, so. We should probably inform her that there's another one that looks very similar to that in the common garter. Called the golden? That's called the gold, golden. So, so she, she might probably be the it. golden. She probably should <laughs> name it. We should probably stick with the golden, but I still want to give her the chance to name it because she was yep. the one who found them. So, oh my gosh, I still can't believe this. We made them. Uh, okay, we well, have. We didn't make them. We didn't make them. We let we the just snakes make them. Facilitated them exactly. being made. Exactly. <laughs> 
wow, you guys are looking at the very first captive bred, whatever this mutation is gonna be called, in Plains Garter Snakes. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, do we even count these? How many no, do we have? No, we haven't counted them yet. Oh, I just am so just mind boggled over this happening in the first place. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, nine babies. Nine and that's her babies. first ever clutch litter. Clutter. We clutter. go with clutter yeah, for garter clutter. snakes. Yeah, because it's kind of in betweeny. Uh, so in betweeny. In, in betweeny. Yes. So that's the females. This is the first uh, cl uh, clutter from that female. So who knows? Maybe next year when she's bigger, she might even have a bigger clutter. But yeah. these babies are big. They're healthy. I think they're gonna do well. Um, I don't know when they were born though. So should we? Should we try to give them food right away? Probably in case they're hungry? wouldn't be a bad thing. Let's see if they're There's hungry. There's one in here that's just to let everybody know. He's not. The best. This I is, think that's him. Anyway. This was the first one we found. Too. Yeah, is that him? Uh, maybe. There's one that's kind of floppy, which really for garter snake clutters, uh, there's always one that doesn't thrive. Usually it's a runt, but I think it's this one. He's just kind of floppy. But you know what? Maybe he'll do just fine. Was it yeah. that one? Maybe. It's yeah, it's totally one. that one because he's like leaning. Oh over yeah, look at that. Down. So this one I don't expect to actually make it long term. But sometimes yeah. they take it by surprise. So first yeah. things first, let's see if they want to eat uh, tilapia. Sorry we're like filming this just randomly here in our new building. Um, we they they gave birth right right there. Yeah, yeah. We and have our actual, actually our new curator is cleaning all of the decor for the garters right now. So you might hear that in the background, but we yep. want it nice and clean while we put the, before we put the adults back. But yeah, let's see if these babies will eat. Do you guys want some tilapia? Will you eat right away? Here, smell this. It's all chopped up, so you can just break off a piece. Break off a piece of that tilapia. Oh, he doesn't want it. With garter snakes, if they're showing any interest, you touch their lips, and that usually initiates a food response. But none of these guys seem actually interested, so I mean, they may have just been yeah, born. Yeah, we don't know. I'm guessing they were like two, three days ago, but usually about... Takes about a week. A week before they're interested in food. Yeah, just figured it wouldn't hurt to offer food just in case. So we're going to leave them, since they don't want a tongue feed. I'm just going to put this at the bottom, and we're going to leave them for about 15 minutes and see if they'll drop feed. All right, I have the enclosure all set up for the parents to go back in. It's clean. There's yeah. no poop everywhere. Yeah, I, the isopods are doing really well yeah, too. So, I mean, we kind of changed things up a little bit, but the garters seem happy enough to be... There's <gasps> another baby right there. What the heck? Where did you come from? Come here. Where did you go? Was there a baby there? There was totally a baby there. Are we... I have it on oh camera. Oh, there he is. He's like, no, you can't catch me. Where did you come from? All the decor was washed except for like one stick. So maybe he crawled out of this one and oh, like kind of came over. Maybe he came out of it. Yeah, maybe. Because that was the one I shook one out of. Were you in that stick? We tried shaking that stick. Are there more of you in there? Okay, well, we have 10 babies now. Yeah. Uh, maybe, Even 10. Maybe more than yeah, 10. Maybe. I guess we'll have to keep an eye on you. Well, hi, cutie. Now we're going to put the adults back in. All right, so I guess do you, we'll... you want to put the baby back first? So oh, yeah, let's put this baby back, baby back, baby back. All right, guys, let's put you back in your enclosure where there may or may not be another baby or two. Yeah. I don't know. Now I think we have them all. Well, I thought I did, but now I don't know. I mean, 10 is a good number, but nine was also a good number. Yeah, so. 10 is a nice, well-rounded number. So unless we see more, we're going to assume we just have 10 babies. Yes. So adults. Yeah, you guys have been chowing down while we've been cleaning your and enclosure. And pooping. And pooping, yeah. Let's put these two in first. These are just friends. We have a very old red-sided garter. One of our very old breeders from when we used to breed them. We did a video about that one. But here are the parents. Look at what these babies are going to look like once they're They're even adults. different shades from each other. They are. Like they he's are. more green, she's more blue. Oh yeah, you're kind of right. There's a little bit of a difference That's there. That's crazy. They are so... So pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. They have a super blue belly. Yeah, blue belly, a nice yellow dorsal stripe. One, uh, The one on the male is a little bit brighter, in my opinion, but they are both gorgeous. You guys did so well. You had babies. Oh my gosh, we have a proven pair of these now. Okay, you go up here. I made a nice basking spot for you. You enjoy it. Go get busy there. again. Yeah, feel free. Yeah, make us more babies. We have lots of enrichment in here. I kind of redecked out the enclosure, so it's yep. nice and spruce back up for them. I'm going to add some more live plants though There's too. There's isopod. Go little isopod. Oh wow. Here, I'm gonna put this isopod up here. Oh no. Here you go. Good luck on your oh, journey. Oh no. <laughs> Poor little dude. <laughs> they can climb. It's fine. <laughs> but 
since these guys are taken care of for the evening, let's set up a baby tank. Okay, so the next day we have a 10 gallon tank that we pulled from our facility because we didn't have any baby tanks here yet. So we're gonna set this up for our baby golden garters or whatever the morph ends up being called. Hey. Let's see, I think, do you think we should do like paper towels first instead of aspen? Probably. Easier to eat on, I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, I put aspen in there, but that was just for overnight, so. Yeah, okay, so for their actual baby tank, we're gonna use paper towels. There we go, got paper towels. And then I'm thinking we have Garter Snake Jungle Gym. Oh yeah. I don't know what this is, but we've had it for a while. It used to be in there. It did, it used to be with the parents, and then I took it out because it looked funny with all yeah. the other natural stuff. But I think these babies are gonna love this thing. So I'm gonna put it right, in, right the in the middle. middle. Yep. Yeah, they're gonna love that. Then we'll give them a couple of hides. Lots I'll and lots of hides. Throw a hide there. This sweet 3D printed hide that a fan gave us, I'll yep. put there. We'll put one here and a water dish over there. And this is one of those water dishes that doubles as a hide underneath because it has a little hollow bit. I yep. love these for baby snakes. And let's see, what else can we give them? Maybe another rock and a sweet plants to climb around to. We are gonna spoil these baby garter snakes. Oh wait, we need a spot to put the food dish. Oh Where's yeah. Where's that gonna go? Maybe, Where? maybe we tuck, oh that'll work. I was gonna say maybe moving that one over, but. Think it would fit right here? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah. Okay, so food will go in the front. Then it's centrally located, so they have more of a chance of finding it, I've found. Yeah. If you have hides on one side and then a food dish on the other, they sometimes just don't know it's there because they're not the brightest things. No. So trying to keep everything within smelling distance is the best for baby garter snakes. Okay, oh wait, a stick. The random log. The random log so they can climb. If we put it, if we if we even make it so it goes up, that could be like a higher basking platform. Ooh, that's like a good so they, point. So they could thermoregulate themselves. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. This will be their little basking spot. Yep. There we go. A perfect little garter snake habitat full of enrichment and climbing opportunities, hides, the whole nine yards. Should we add our garters? Sure. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're even cuter than I remember. Oh, they have such cool stripes and freckles everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at this little thing. You are so cute. Wow, and as far as I'm aware, these are the only ones in existence. The parents and now this litter of baby golden garter snakes. That is crazy. Easy. All right, well, we are going to, I guess, add all 10 of them to their new enclosure. You're so cute. There we go. Go on in. There you go. You're free. Got two. How many can I hold at once, I wonder? Yeah, Guinness Book of World Records. How many golden plains garter snakes <laughs> held That's at once? That's highly specific. <laughs> it is, but I think I'm the record holder at five. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here they go. That one totally just bonked its head on the cave and then stopped. Oh god, he confused himself. And our last Is that 10? two, numbers nine and ten. Yes. Perfect. Look at those colors. What, oh. what a crazy pattern. This is just insane that the parents made visual golden babies. Alright, here you go. You're free. We're gonna put our screen lid on, and to yep. be extra safe, we have clips. Not that we think these garters are gonna be able to push this lid up to begin with, but better safe than sorry. Especially for something as special as these. Okay, let's put them in place. Perfect. We're also not using that heat mat, by the way. That was just no, stuck just to this cage. Take it off. Yeah. Sweet. We have our UVB down here for them. Where's the Where's the heat bulb? The lamp. You know where the heat lamp is. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to play along with me. We went to the shop because we were supposed to bring a heat lamp over the first time and didn't. I it. And then we went back to the shop and came back here and went, the UVB. Where's, the, where's the heat lamp? And, and then we went, oh. I forgot the heat lamp a second time. Yeah. So you know what? We're not going to go back a third time today. No. Uh, instead, we're going to add their heat lamp tomorrow. Yes. It's very warm in this building as it yeah. is. They'll be fine. And they're not eating right now anyway. Yeah. So. They'll be fine overnight. We will come back tomorrow when we Try have... It. A heat lamp. Okay. You want to plug this in first before we okay. before we break for the tomorrow? Ta-da! Hooray! It's, now we have is, it, is it lit up? Yep. Oh yeah, it's totally lit up. It's just a little cold. Great. Sweet. Aww. Here we go. And yeah, we will come back tomorrow when we have a heat lamp. All right, it's been a few days, and we have actually behind the scenes been trying to get these baby garters to eat tilapia, and they want nothing to do with it. Yep. So we are caving, and we're going to offer them worms. 
Because this usually gets baby garters to eat if they don't want to eat anything else. We've also tried little chopped up pinky parts too and they don't want that either. Which, why are you using my phone by the way and not the camera? Because the, the camera's dead. We don't have any other batteries? No, I just, there's the one in there and it's dead. All right, all right. Well, at least we have my phone. That'll, that'll yeah. fail. My phone only has audio issues, so it's not Yeah, exactly. Thing Mine does the shaky thing. Yeah, so. that's right. Neither of our phones are actually very good for filming, guys. <laughs> you think for YouTube we'd have like personal phones that could no, video they, record they pretty each good? They have their own issues. Nope, yep. Anyway, uh, this is our trick for getting baby f garter food ready. If you you're just, squeamish and you don't want to see a worm die, yeah, I mean, don't watch this part. You can probably guess what's going to happen. These are, these are herb scissors. You can get them off Amazon, and they come with like a little cleaner thing, too. This one's just kind of broken. Oh. It's missing a fork. But yeah, you just use these and snip up your, gar your garter snakes. You snip up your worms for the garter snakes. There we go. And you can get really teeny tiny pieces very quickly. You scrape it out. Just like that. There you go. You got a bunch of teeny tiny worm parts. Let's see if they want it. All right, little babies. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're not under there. I saw some tails in that one. Oh, are you under the little 3D printer? Oh my gosh, there? they're all under there. There they are. Okay, babies, here. Try to eat a worm. Smell it. Oh, yay! oh, nice! Yay! Oh, good. And actually, these guys are a lot bigger than I kind of remembered them. I don't, I don't think I actually have to chop the worms this tiny. But yay, they're eating! I think they can handle bigger pieces. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I am glad they're eating. Here you go. Do you want this tasty worm? <gasps> Get, oh, oh no, missed we missed it. it. Missed it. Oh, oh, there you go. Get it! Yeah! He's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he is. Can I entice you to come into my hands, you cutie patootie? Come here. Come on. Don't eat my finger. <laughs> you can't eat my finger. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Here you go. Here's your reward. You came all the way out on your own. Oh, nope, not my finger. It's like, wait, now you're grabbing me. I don't like this. Oh, good job. There you go. There's your reward. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, so baby golden garters. Uh, well, we're calling them golden for now because with common garter snakes that look like this, it's a very similar morph and it is called the golden morph. However, we did tell the person who surrendered their parents to us that if it proved to be a genetic mutation, she could name the morph uh, because that's kind of how it works. If you discover a new mutation, you get to name it. So I am waiting to hear back what she wants to call the morph, but there's a chance she might just want to stick with golden because like albino, it kind of goes across different species yeah, and everybody we should knows what albino probably is. stick with golden golden i think would make the most sense but i did promise that she could name the morph so i'm gonna let her make that decision herself as he's chowing down in my hand here oh my gosh you're so cute they've got appetites that was yep. like the last challenge the last hesitation i had with these babies was yes. whether they were going to eat or not and they are oh my gosh look we have dad out now with a baby so you can compare and contrast and look at that size difference mom is by the way doing just fine i just can't juggle three at once but we do have yep. mom in her paladary or her enclosure over there not yep. paladary over there yeah her bioactive enclosure and yeah, dad, I think, looks just as pretty as the baby here. You know, the baby actually might be even prettier. Yeah, baby is much prettier. Baby has like a golden stripe down its body. That's beautiful. And we recently discovered that after posting a picture of these on the Thamnophis Facebook group, we discovered that there is one other person who has a golden colored Thamnophis radix or plains garter snake. So these aren't the only ones in existence, but there is, it sounds like, one other person who has a couple of them, a couple males that were born from a golden female. So we might be doing some trading to outcross some bloodlines and strengthen them in captivity. Yep. But we are going to be holding back, other than maybe trading with that one person, we are going to be holding back all of these babies, these 10 beautiful babies, so that we can raise them up and produce more goldens down the line. I still can't believe this actually came to fruition. Yeah. Like we kept this project hush hush because we didn't want to like jinx ourselves or anything. We we wanted to make sure it was actually gonna come to fruition before we shared it with everybody. Yep. But now it is. Oh my gosh! Look, we have goldens. We made golden garter snakes. Ah, oh, that's so crazy. Okay, well I'm just gonna geek out over these adorable babies and feed them a lot of worms because yep. I want to pudge them up because they're finally eating for us. But thank you guys so much for watching. We are very excited to kind of restart a new project with garter snakes. We haven't bred garters in mm -hmm. a while until now. So thank you for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support as always. And what would you name this morph if you had discovered it for the first time? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.